Yo, hey, it's Keith. What's up? Um, staying at the Vipassana Center, doing some work here. Um, been a little sun-kissed or sun-fucked by the sun, uh, depending on your point of view. Been working here for about a month. Um, I talked to Truth about uh, night before last. Um, just talking about some stuff, and I wanted to let you guys know that he's got a YouTube channel going, and he just put the first video up. He asked me if I could hit you guys up to uh, subscribe to him. He's like coming back on, he's doing his own thing, and um, when I say his own thing, of uh, uh, really doing the pure truth Calkins thing, which I've been a devotee of for a long time, as you know. And for some of you, I just always assume that all of you know who he is, like, I guess sort of assuming that a lot of you have been following me for a long time, but um, my subscribership has actually gone up about 30%, so I'm realizing that there's maybe a lot of you that don't know who Truth is, so um, he used to work at a tonic bar in Erwan, Los Angeles, that's where I met him. Um, I became aware of him from some YouTube videos that the David Wolf people put up um, back in 2006, yeah. And um, I was sort of obsessed with the videos. I believe I have them on an old computer. I'm sort of going through them, trying to find them, and I'm going to upload them to this channel if I can find them because they've been taken off of YouTube by the people who put them up. So these videos I watched over and over obsessively, just like, I was like, wow, this guy is really plugged in. And then it sort of dawned on me after like watching the videos over and over, I was like, that's Air One. And um, I guess maybe it said it in the video. I don't know, but I used to go to Air One all the time. I used to live in West Hollywood. And my boyfriend at the time introduced me to that place. It's a very world famous health food store from back in the 60s um and uh yeah i went down there in i guess summer 2007 or 8 for the first time and i met him in person and i was quite blown away i just talked to him and then um i saw him maybe another time or two and then summer 2008 was when i was like I need to like, I need to like talk to this guy seriously and um, and then I had my first consultation with him in November 2008 which would be like 11 years ago and then by 2009 I was like, um, and this was kind of preceding him becoming a sort of celebrity um, health guru person in the David Wolf camp and that went on for a couple of years and then his sort of extremeness, which I am, I'm extreme, I mean, I, um, I, I want to make no, um, qualms about that, that's why I love truth, is because he's very extreme, and this, these bodies that we live in, versus the collective consciousness, or the matrix, is a very big contradiction with, um, the sort of path that the somebody that's driven can take and somebody that has the ability to to break through collective limitations and not be afraid and be bold and be brave about what is human potential who we really are um, to quote, um, the police, is it the song Ghost in the Machine? Something about that we are spirits in bodies. We're not bodies with spirits. We're spirits in bodies. So the more that you can plug into that, and truth is always in terms of like people that are very um, powerful in the health, people that are powerful to me in the health industry. Um, there's only been a handful of them that really are operating with their health food knowledge, health protocol knowledge from the point of view that we are spirits and bodies. 
So um, anyways, I just wanted to say um, I spoke at length with Truth and he's really working on getting um, his kind of his own gig going with releasing this, this huge book that's basically his life's work. Trying to get it out at um, the beginning of the year, around January-ish. Um, I think he would appreciate the sales of advanced copies. So if you're a Truth fan, comment down in below. Because um, Truth looks at, at my stuff. He's actually, we talked a lot. He's been watching my videos. I don't think that he did it so, so much like a long time ago. But he was just like, I love your videos because they're like journal entries with the stream of consciousness and stuff. And I was happy to hear that from him because... Um, you know, I'm like a real right brain speaker and sometimes it's like uh, it gets a little bit crazy with just the um, with the stream of consciousness talking that it's like a journal entry. And that is what I want it to be like. But like having him go, oh, like, yeah, I, I really there's not very many people that can do what you do. So fair enough. I kind of know that and I have my little small audience about you know, 90 to 110 of you that like steadily pay attention to me and, and I'm on a course and I'm staying on this course and, um, you know, truth has been super helpful, a super like um, big teacher with me just getting into extreme stuff and then the second biggest or the equally biggest teacher is me teaching myself and my openness around stuff, my openness to learning stuff, my attraction to the right people, like attraction to him, attraction to teachings, and um, following my heart, like my devotion to yoga and Vipassana now. So, um, that's enough. I just, uh, there's a link in the drop down to the video that uh, Truth's put up, this first video, like two minutes long on his I think it's his key for aloe vera. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I told him I would. By the time I put this up, I will watch it because I'll put the link, right? So um, he's got his channel and, um, you know, get on board now. Be an early devotee of the, um, the new version of Truth Calkins, meaning like the sovereign version of him because he's not being associated with within, like the David Wolf people. It's his own thing, and I'm I'm helping him, and um, I'm helping him in terms of support. We're like, like he's one of my best friends now, and I couldn't really, um, I couldn't really ask for a better friend. He's very devoted, and he's very devoted to service to 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 humans, to the human, um, to the human potential, to like people that want to heal themselves, to like telling the truth, you know, it's his name, he lives up to his name, um, and, you know, casting aside the um, sort of mediocrity that, that people um, want to push, it's, it's big time, YouTube is like an echo chamber of stupidness, so... Um, you know, stay on board with me. Um, lots of stuff coming on with Truth. Subscribe to Truth. Watch his videos. And again, um, Truth will definitely look at the comments in this video. Um, do make a comment if you wish to pre-purchase his book, which is his life's work, which is going to be, there's, there's going to be no other book that's, that's like this. It's going to be a, an expensive book. And it's going to be a book that's um, just like an alchemy text, like a um, like a alchemical uh, tome, T O M E, like a a book that's um, that's that's profound, a book that you'll want to own. I mean, I think of like my ownership of survival in the twenty first century, the a book that Victoris Kolvinskis put out. That was like a Bible to me, and I see this book, The Truth, is going to put out because I know that he 
respects survival in the 21st century. He sees it as a spiritual book, and his book is going to be a spiritual book, among other things. But my story is is that for probably um, 15 years, I carried survival in the 21st century around with me in my backpack, always referring to it and just um, opening it. And I'm kind of like that. I'm sort of like obsessive with things I'm into, um, in terms of, um, books. I'm really like that. I always have my Nietzsche books with me. I have, you know, now that I have, um, a cell phone with all the music on it, I like, but I obsess over music and stuff. But the things that are really special to me, um, I obsess, I I constantly visit them all the time and I journal all the time. I make journals with me all the time or a journal or a place to write. And so this shall be, if you're a person that is driven to be reading inspirational things and doing inspirational things in your life, you'll be wanting to uh, get into this book. And um, if you're wanting to be a part of a group of people that are um, a tribe-like of like truth, Jing Ma, he uses the term Jing Master, um, if you want to be in that world, um, you know, stay around me, stay around him. Um, and it's it's going to be a, a very powerful underground movement as um, truth gain, gains his feet. And um, I support him with helping him find his feet. Meaning that, like, he's always been doing work. He's been working, like, at clinics and doing stuff. And now he's, like, kind of looking to um, be more available and um, having this book out of his life's work and um, it's going to be great. So um, so support him by supporting his channel. Support him and let him know what you think by putting comments down below and support me with comments, but support me by supporting my music. Um, more stuff coming up with that. Uh, secondculture.bandcamp.com and links and stuff to truth uh, to his um, video mainly and then that will um, through that you'll find his channel and then you can subscribe to his channel and there we go peace out bye